Hey guys, it's me Pizza Hunter here. I wanted to just make a tutorial here on how to set up the emulator for DS, including Black Ops DS Zombies. You can play it in the non-retroarch version as well, which I'll put a link to, but I think the retroarch version is a more cohesive and simpler experience. So first off, you're going to want to go to Steam, which if you don't have it, you should, but I'll put the link to it in the description just in case. You're going to want to you want to search up RetroArch, this one right here. To play a game or download, it might be a little different. And once it finishes downloading, all you got to do is open it. Your RetroArch might look a little different than mine. Mine's purple. Yours will probably be just black. You won't have all this stuff at the bottom here. And then you want to hit Manage Course. Look for Desmium. Click it. Hit Install. It says Uninstall for me. For you, say Uninstall. Import content. Scan file. You're going to want to look for wherever you saved your file on your computer once you have that scanned it will pop up down here and there should be a folder called ds you want to click on the game and run and then it should just open nice and easy like that now to continue from here you're going to want a controller any kind of controller will work i would recommend something with two analog sticks to make it a little easier it's connected it'll just tell you then you want to hit f1 and make some settings make this a uh, cleaner experience so you're gonna first want to go to options you can uh mess this all you want but i personally like to have my internal resolution set to this anything higher your computer is probably going to be lagging and yeah you want to set this to hybrid top three to one gap zero ceiling four all, all this stuff that way it works good pointer type mouse this is like, an important one and for the controls you want to go to the controls tab or one and then you keep everything the same, except for when you go down here, you're going to want to set these up. So right analog Y minus is X, right analog Y plus is B, right analog X minus is Y, and right analog X plus is A. Then you're also going to want to make the same thing, left analog, left analog Y minus is up, left analog Y plus is down, left analog X minus is left, left analog x plus is right also in controls you're going to want to set up left trigger as l and right trigger as r i go out and then here there should be a save remap option out and hit resume now you can use analog stick since it's a nintendo game if you're using an xbox controller b is going to be select um it's going to ask you if you want to do button layout or touch layout pick the button layout option you can adjust your options later and here you have the sensitivity which is important because it's really sensitive by def default and then start playing all you gotta do is go to single player zombie mode and then boom you have all your maps right here another important thing to note is press f3 to show your fps in the top right like i have it if your fps is not showing your submission will be invalid fps must stay close to 60 uh throughout the whole run yeah but that's it hope you guys enjoy this and uh, get some stuff out there. Peace.